Imagine being able to drive and never needing to add fuel. Aptera is planning to release this street legal solar powered vehicle later this year. Now I'm not affiliated with Aptera, but I got to see it and take a test drive. I thought it was really cool, so hope you enjoy the video. All right, right here is something that I've actually been wanting to see for a long time, a solar powered car. It has 700 watts of solar panels all over it, even on the dashboard, so it can produce its own power, 42 kilowatt hour battery, and it gives it a range when it charges up in a full day of sun of about 40 miles, at least that's what they say. Hi, I'm Chris with Aptera, and this is the world's first solar mobility. People don't often realize that typical sedans or SUVs use about 70% of their fuel at highway speeds, just pushing air out of the way. We decided to make the most efficient vehicle ever, and we started with aerodynamics. You can tell it looks much more like a fish than a box, and that's because we've used lots of computational fluid dynamics to have the most aerodynamic shape possible. Very pointy nose, cambered body, super aerodynamic suspension, covered wheels. This vehicle actually uses less energy on the freeway than the side view mirrors on most pickup trucks. Because it's so aerodynamic, because it's so lightweight, because we have an efficient powertrain, this vehicle actually gets about 350 miles per gallon equivalent. And when you're so efficient like that, you can actually do cool things with solar panels where you can add 700 watts of solar to the vehicle and produce about 40 miles of free driving power a day just from the sun, the most ubiquitous charging network in the world. You can plug it in, it's got NACs uh, in the back. We were the first to adopt the NAC standard outside of Tesla. You can go to your favorite supercharger or you can charge at home. Just a regular 110 outlet from your garage will get you 150 miles of charge overnight. It's technically a motorcycle, but because it has three wheels, you don't have to have a motorcycle's license. And because you have something over your head, you don't have to wear a helmet. The rear view screen system, uh, we actually have a plug-in where you can plug in a Kama AI autopilot system. It's open source, so you can, uh, you can upgrade it over time, and it's you know, part of the open source community. So while I was at CES, I had the opportunity to take a ride in the Aptera, so here's how it went. There's all the production pieces in this. It just doesn't have the pretty shell on the exterior. Oh, okay, and then here's our solar power. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. A little windy today, huh? <laughs> yeah. Get some good acceleration. Oh yeah, it's it's fantastic. So this one's you know software limited while we're tuning our our motor curve, but it's already you know very zippy. It's a very fun, uh, capable vehicle. I'm very impressed by the suspension of the vehicle. Uh -huh. It feels like a four wheel vehicle, and it also um, handles these rough roads pretty well, you know? I think it's really cool that we have solar power coming in Yeah. the whole time we're driving. It's awesome. So when is this uh, slated for production? Yeah, late this year. Uh, we're gonna begin customer deliveries is what we're, what we're aiming for. So you see, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> wow. And uh, it's pretty quiet despite the wind noise, obviously. Um, with the interior and all the NVH we're gonna add, it'll be even quieter than this. But it's nice because all of this is, you know, production tooled parts, the, all the body structure around us. So uh -huh. the fit and flush is, is perfect on the body structure. And then you're, uh, because you can't see out the back, you have cameras on either side. Right. These are your left and right, and this is your reverse. So we, ha we have really views are all around the vehicle. So I don't have any blind spots, which is amazing. The repair manual for this mm -hmm. car is going to be available. And then you can just order parts if something breaks, fix it yourself if you wanted to. Yes, absolutely. That's really cool. We're, we're a big proponent of right to repair. So we'll have you know, video tutorials on how to replace different parts so the users can, can do that themselves um, for, you know, certain things. Obviously, if it's high voltage, you'd want to take it into someone who knows, but we will just, yeah, sell you the parts. And uh, we're very open about that. It's it's funny, you'd think there's a lot of red tape. There really isn't. It's just automakers don't like to do it, and we just, we will, so. That's great. I love uh, being able to fix things. Oh, yeah, not, me too. <laughs> not getting in the way. Just buy the part, fix it. Yeah, yeah, and we're, we're committed to shipping the parts within 24 hours, too, so it's going to be a very quick repair process if you want to get a part replaced yourself. So. All right, now we're in total shade, and we're still <laughs> making 73 watts. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're still charging the battery right now, just uh, sitting in the shade, which is awesome. Complete shade. Yeah, the the looks you get in this are something else, I will say. You is know, everybody looking at us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you kind of see that like moment they realize what it is. It looks like a flying spaceship, you know, so... It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I like how there's panels up here too. Yes, yeah, they're everywhere. Cells. How long has this car been in design? Uh, the company, you know, really started off in 2020, so it's been, I guess, a little over four years now. Okay, four years, um, wow. But now we have this, you know, production tooling, and this is really the first series of vehicles that we can fully range test and validate all our claims with, which we're really excited about. So this is the same class of vehicles, these validation vehicles that will be crash tested later this year. 
And it just, it just jumps up. <laughs> it says 160 watts. Yeah, so it's very, you know, orientation specific. So you get the most sun when the tail is in the sun. So sure. uh, definitely with parking, you're going to want to be selective about what uh, spot you pick, you know, what orientation you park in. It makes a big difference. So we, we do imagine our Aptera people will be, once you own one, you'll be trying to park very uniquely. <laughs> we also noticed some funny things in Vegas, you know, just because there's so many windows on the buildings. The reflection of the sun off of one of the buildings actually made solar more solar than we thought was possible. <laughs> That's so because it's like magnifying the sun into the solar charging. So. So if we if we wanted to, you could like take this and go camping, lay down in there. Is it? Absolutely, yeah. If you put there. the seats forward, you have seven feet of space from the tail to the back of the seats. So plenty of room for camping. We'll have a tent accessory. Um, you'll be able to you know get a, a mattress back there and just camp and have a great time. We got a lot of people taking our picture. Oh yeah. I think it's the, probably the best commuter you could possibly have because you're using a third the energy of a mile compared to a Tesla. So it's just really cheap and you know, getting up to 40 miles a day from the sun just means your commute is fully covered every day. So I can't wait for that. There's not enough you know, chargers around, especially at workplaces. You know, these office parks don't really have many chargers. So. Do you guys have a, like a list of pre-orders? Yeah, we have almost 50,000 pre-orders for the vehicle. 50,000. So mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great way to, to raise money. You know, our community is incredible. We raised 130 million from crowdfunding. It's one of the most successful crowdfunded companies in the world. Uh, so that's gotten us to where we are today, which is really remarkable. Uh, you don't expect startup companies to be able to get all these forged carbon fiber pieces and everything uh, tooled. But, you know, thanks to our amazing community, we were able to, to get here. So it's pretty awesome. We all want a more efficient world. Uh, this vehicle uses a tenth of the energy of a traditional uh, gas sedan. So we could have 10 of these on the road and use the same amount of energy as a single uh, Corolla. Uh, so we, we envision a world where things are solar powered, you're driving for free, and it's just a lot, you know, a lot less time spent at charging stations. Yeah. Uh, saving time, saving money, save a couple thousand dollars a year on gas just by having a solar EV. So it's a, it's a win, you know, it's, efficiency makes a lot of things possible. Yeah, I think it's like a dream that everybody has, like a car that you never have to plug in. Yeah. You can just drive it around and it recharges itself. Exactly. And it, here we are. In yeah, one. It's, <laughs> it's a, actually working, yeah, too, which is amazing. We just took it around the block. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you very much for the ride. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. Who knows if Aptera will succeed, but if you're like me, you've dreamed of a solar powered car. So I'm eager to see what else will come out in the future that we might be seeing on the roads. And if you like content around solar and batteries, you might like to check out this video over here.